The SO7B is the newest representative of the class of 750 watt electric mountain bikes. This model is built on the aluminum alloy frame, has hydraulic front suspension, front and rear disc brakes, and is riding on a set of 4 inch fat tires. The bike can operate in three power modes, pedal only, electric assist, and all electric mode. The all electric thumb throttle mode fully activates the bike's 48 volt, 13 amp hour battery pack. In this mode, you can travel for up to 25 miles and reach 28 mile per hour speeds without engaging the pedals. The electric assist mode drains the battery at a much lower pace. It can provide you five different levels of pedal support and extend your electrified ride to 50 miles. Once depleted, the battery can be restored to 100% charge in about six hours. If you take a look at the specifications of the new Defender S electric mountain bike, you get a feeling that its creators wanted to double down on its major components in order to give you the complete riding experience. Unlike most electric fat bikes out there, the Defender S is equipped not with one, but two powerful 750 watt motors. The unique dual motor powertrain has a combined output of 1500 watts and can give you the much needed push up the hill or let you go through deep snow and sandy beaches. It goes without saying that you won't need so much power all the time. So in order to conserve energy, the bike has a setting that turns off the all-wheel drive and powers the front or rear wheel motor only. Besides having two motors, the Defender S can be equipped with a dual battery setup too. If you opt in for this option, your overall riding range can reach 80 miles. The 303 FS is a multi-purpose electric bicycle with a striking motorcycle-inspired design and great performance specifications. Even though the 303 FS is equipped with a highly capable 3500 watt mid-drive motor, this model can still be considered a good bike for city commuting. The built-in controller allows you to lower the power output in urban environments and cruise down the city blocks in the pedal assist mode. It's a nice feature to have, but the full potential of this model can be experienced in the off-road environment only. The unique suspension system installed on the 303 FS includes preload, compression, and rebound adjustments. These will let you fine tune the preferences and achieve a smooth ride, even over bumpy hills. The fat motorbike tires will ensure best possible grip and let you achieve speeds close to 40 miles per hour in the race mode. The bike's 52 volt, 17.5 amp hour battery is said to last for up to 55 miles on a charge. But like with all e-bikes out there, this estimated range figures greatly depending on the weather, weight of the rider and your riding preferences. Rover is the newest electric fat bike model created by Rumble Motors. It was engineered to serve the role of a compact city commuter that can get you from point A to point B with great comfort and efficiency. This model is built on the tubular aluminum alloy frame with a functional and striking design. The top of the frame was engineered to hold a removable battery pack. Speaking of the battery pack, it's a 48 volt 15 amp hour unit. If needed, this battery can be removed in just five seconds and recharged at home. The recharging process usually takes four hours to reach the full charge. The bike is brought into motion by means of a 500 watt electric motor, has a 330 pound carrying capacity and a 30 mile per hour top speed capability. The list of Rover's smart features includes GPS navigation, pedal assist system, blinkers, LED headlight, horn, brake lights, and an LCD screen display. Originally launched via Indiegogo, the Nurika was marketed as the cheapest carbon fiber e-bike in the business. It currently sells in two configurations, the most affordable Homey and the flagship Prime. The former is fully suspended and powered by a rear hub motor up to 500 watts, 
while the latter prefers mid-mounted systems from Bosch with 750 to 1000 watt output. It either has a solid carbon fiber structure or an optional magnesium air fork. Expect Narikas to cover from 25 to 31 miles at the speeds up to 28 miles per hour. The bikes are thoroughly customizable and seem to be on track with production and delivery schedule. Wafa Bike Company was created with an objective of providing electric bicycle options that are well adapted to the Nordic climate. As a result, all their models are riding on at least 4-inch fat tires and have electric motors to perform well both in the city and in off-road conditions. I Am Carbon is one of their flagship models. As the name suggests, the bike is built on the full carbon fiber frame that is also available in three sizes. It's a nice feature that lets riders of different heights find the suitable model. The frame serves as a housing for the 1000 watt mid-mounted motor and has a special slot for the removable battery pack. The MACE model gets a 14 amp hour unit, while the 20 amp hour battery is optional. The list of other features that are worth mentioning includes hydraulic 4 piston brakes, 11 speed SRAM NX gears, fat 26 by 4.8 inch tires, as well as front and rear suspension by rock shocks. Available in two frame designs, three sizes, and three colors, this model packs plenty of standard tech for a fair price. Its 750 watt motor can propel the bike on its own or work in five pedal assist modes. As standard, the maximum speed is limited to 20 miles. But with a few changes though, the Aventon application on your phone, it can be increased to 28 miles per hour. The bike relies on a front fork suspension, hydraulic disc brakes, and four inch Kenda Crusade tires. Plus, there is a backlit LCD display that shows your speed, battery charge, and distance traveled. Athlete is the newest mountain bike that is produced by an electric bicycle manufacturer from France. The model's fat tires are the first thing one should notice about this bike. The fat 26 by 4.8 inch tires are there to give you the much needed grip when conquering sand, softer ground, snow, and rough terrain. They will also grip well when going up the steep slopes. If you need to get over the hill, the bike's 250 watt mid-mounted motor will give you an electrified push every time you turn the pedals. Since the athlete is positioned as a pedal assist model only, you'll be able to achieve the top speed of 50 miles per hour only. With the integrated 48 volt, 700 watt hour battery pack, pedal assistance is expected to last for up to 80 miles between charges. The A1 is a compact electric city commuting vehicle that has been developed in Copenhagen. This model is based on a step-through frame available in four color variations and is riding on a set of fat tires. This bicycle is currently offered in four trim levels, Dynamic, Dynamic Plus, Intense, and Intense Plus. They vary in terms of electric motor power and battery capacity. The A1 Dynamic bikes are equipped with 250 watt motors and a battery pack ranging from 14.5 to 17.5 amp hours. They can have either mechanic or hydraulic disc brakes and are supplying motor power through the pedal assist system only. Consequently, they can be used in both Europe and the US without any additional paperwork. The A1 Intense models was created for those who need better riding dynamics. They come with 750 watt motors and are equipped with a thumb throttle. Thanks for being with us today. 
We will be waiting for you in the comments section to discuss today's episode and hear you out about the future topics that should be reviewed on this channel. As mentioned before, support electric vehicles by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel. You can also check out the rest of our electric content by following the links on the screen. Laters.